Okay, today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to import a Cribble pack into Cribble Logstream. Uh, we're going to start by going up into the middle here into Processing, and we're going to click on Packs. And we're going to click on Add New. When you do that, you're going to have several different options. Um, today I'm going to import directly from a Git URL. Um, just know that you can also import from a URL that has a file, or you can import from a .crbl file itself if you have the file. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and choose import from git uh, because that's where the content that I have lives. We're going to give that a second and I'm going to go ahead and put in my git URL. Um, this is the git URL for a Kribble Microsoft activity um, Kribble pack that I created. I'm going to give it a new ID and I'm just going to call it Microsoft activity. And the branch that I'm going to choose is the main branch. And the reason I'm choosing that is because that is the branch in GitHub that um, my Kribble pack belongs. Um, you would choose whichever branch that um, the Kribble pack that you're looking for belongs in. Um, so that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Um, and it's not going to work in my demo environment here. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you in a future. Oh, actually, it did work. Um, so here it is. Um, we have Microsoft Activity. It popped up. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll go ahead and go through this um, Kribble pack for Microsoft Activity in a future video. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it does and how it works. Um, but the scope of this video, we're just showing you how to import law or Kribble packs. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Uh, thank you guys for watching another H2 video, and you have a good day.